Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we want to discuss about gene cloning. In all my previous video, we already know about how DNA is extracted from cell. Okay, let's see my video. Okay, there are the basic steps of gene cloning. So, there are seven steps. The first one is isolation of donor DNA and the vector DNA. The second one is the restriction of target DNA and vector DNA by restriction enzyme. Okay, so the vector in this diagram is bacteria and the donor's DNA is from human cell. Number four, ligation of target DNA and vector DNA by DNA ligase. Step number five, transformation, recombinant DNA into host cell. Number six, amplification. And number seven, screening for industrial purpose. Okay. So, this is a donor DNA that refer to the human cell. And this is a plasmid of bacteria. In this plasmid, there are restriction sites where at the lab Z. Okay, so the lab Z is a marker for lactose. Okay, so the other side, uh, they also marker for antibiotic. A to ampli for Amplicillin. Okay. So in step one, notice that the plasmid carries two gene which will later prove useful. The ampicillin registered gene AMP4. 
Alpham to the end, the lead Z gene encode for the enzyme beta galactosidase, which catalyzes the hydrolysis of the sugar lactose. The blink one is the restriction site. And notice the plasmid also has a single restriction site and eh, lying within the lead gene. Okay, so the single restriction site. At, uh, within the lead Z gene ok so the next step is to cut the gene of interest target DNA that means for uh, donor DNA and also to cut the plasmid ok so we use the same restriction enzyme ok cut the donor DNA and also cut the plasmid at the same restriction site Okay, now you see there is a sticky end. Okay, so remember in this process we cut both the plasmid and the human DNA with the same restriction enzyme. This produces DNA fragment that have matching sticky ends. Okay, so the donor. Okay, sticky end can match with the sticky end of the plasmid. Okay, for well the next step is to insert the target gene into the plasmid vector. Okay, so you see what happened. Uh, and remember the site is also called the palindromic site which the base uh, reading okay for the right side and below the left side is the same okay in a process this is called a ligation and enzyme DNA ligase is used to join the plasmic and human DNA fragments together using covalent bonds. This results in the formation of a recombinant DNA molecule and complete the gene splicing. Okay, so now the recombinant DNA uh, inserted okay in the plasmid. Okay, see the process. And notice that the DNA fragment containing the human gene inserted in the middle of the plasmid in lead Z gene. Okay. Okay. And so the next uh, recombinant plasmid containing the human gene is inserted to the host bacterium 
Okay, and the process is called transformation. And under normal circumstances, not all the bacteria will have taken up the plasmid or they may have taken up plasmid which do not contain the human gene. So the next step is amplification where many copies of human gene are produced by cloning the bacteria under suitable nutrient media. Okay, so you see more colony is produced. Okay, so the bacteria replicates the recombinant plasmid at the same time as the own DNA. The descendant form a clone of bacteria. So they all have identical copies of the human gene. And then the next step is to screen the bacteria colonies formed from each single bacterium. Okay, so the next step is 7, screening the transformation. Okay, and now you see there are two that don't have plasmid. So that means they cannot carry the recombinant DNA. Okay, so the yellow one is not carry the plasmid. Okay, and the others still carry the plasmid. Okay, some bacteria may take up plasmid whose let Z gene does not have the inserted human gene. Okay, the let Z gene is therefore functional. Okay, so that means if they do not plasmid, that means that Z gene is functional. So if they have plasmid, the let Z gene is unfunctional. Okay, so when grown on a nutrient media containing X gel, this bacteria form blue colonies. Okay, that means the blue colonies does not have the recombinant DNA. The plasmid, that means does not take out the plasmid because the lead Z gene is functional. Okay. Okay, some bacteria did not taken up the plasmid containing antibiotic resistant gene AMP. Okay, so they die after being put on the agar contain ampicillin. This antibiotic in the agar nutrient medium ensure that only the resist to the ampicillin. Okay, those colony with a functional lead Z gene, okay, which stain blue, indicating they do not have recombinant DNA plasmid. So, the white colony, there are contain the recombinant DNA. So only the white colony will be choose for industrial production of the human gene. For further understanding and revision, please do my exercise and reference below in my description. Okay, stay tuned in for another 
episode about biotech. Okay, bye. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.